starts right now. You just dropped off your son or daughter at college and said your goodbyes. You probably have a lot of worries, but one of the biggest has to be whether they're going to rack up a ton of credit card debt. Only 15% of college freshmen pay their balance each month. College seniors are graduating with $4,100 of credit card debt and $23,000 in student loan debt. Beth Kobliner is a personal finance expert and the author of Get a Financial Life. Beth, great to see you again. Great to see you, Jerry. All right, I think the big worry out there is you you don't even really know as a parent what you're on the hook for. You have to know what that big number is. Absolutely. You know, no matter how much you prepare and you sort of give your kid all the lessons you think you can give them, you're still going to have to help. So that's why it's so important to be specific and give them concrete advice. Right. Concrete advice and know what they're spending to be able to track it Absolutely. just a little bit. Absolutely. You have to have a budget. Number one, most important, know what they're spending their money on. Is it beer? Is it books? You know, what is it? And that's very important. And you might want to have encourage them to get a job because a recent study actually showed that kids who have a job in college who work fewer than 20 hours actually have a slightly higher GPA than those who don't have a job. It makes school. a lot of sense to me, I have to tell you. It keeps you organized. Let's talk about, you know, the social life can be so expensive depending on whether you're in a fraternity or a sorority, the clothing you buy, the beer you buy. Absolutely. How do you rein that in? Well, the national average for how much people spend, kids spend, on their personal expenses is about $2,000 a year. But if you belong to a fraternity or a sorority, that could easily tack on $2,500 extra. So you have to coordinate that with your kids. Are you paying those bills or are they paying those bills? You know, for most school food, the budget, dorm life is included in the price. So if they're racking up, you know, pizzas every night, you have to talk about, wait, why are you doing this? And let's let's make sure that that's an expense that the kid covers, not the parents. Yeah, that's those conversations have to take place. Absolutely. I want to talk about credit cards for a second because you have a really interesting perspective on should kids in college have credit cards. Now, as you know, the law is changing right. and pretty soon uh, they're not going to allow credit card issuers to be on campuses marketing these products. Right. Unless what do you parent, say? Right. Unless the parent co-signs or the kid can prove that they have income. Now, how a kid is going to have enough income while they're in college is another story. I would say don't get a credit card until junior or senior year. Some people are saying rush and get one now before the rules change in February. I think freshmen and sophomores don't need credit cards. I think they get into a lot of trouble. The average freshman leaves with $1,000 in credit card debt. I think we have to really re-educate young people that you shouldn't be using, you shouldn't be getting into debt in college. And of course, we do want to tell people too that, you know, if your college student is banking, watch out for the fees. Those ATM fees are high, high, Horrible high. and overdraft fees. A recent study by the Center for Responsible Lending showed that people 18 to 24 are paying $1 billion right. annually in overdraft fees. Yeah, that is a scary prospect. Well, you know, we appreciate your help. Thanks so much for the good advice. My and I know pleasure. parents out there will really appreciate it. Uh -huh. As always, we thank you for spending...